Welcome back everybody to the continuation of our let's play of Space Exploration and Cross Story 2. So, I ran a couple more simulations to see if there would be any kind of possibility for the Battle Chungus to survive, but alas, every timeline basically came down to the same conclusion that the Battle Chungus is doomed from the get-go. If we have a peek outside, yeah, the Chungus over there, very much dead. There is a cargo landing pad over here because I more or less panic placed it down, called the rocket over so that we can at least have a, what's it called again, a space capsule over here to get back into orbit. However, there is a small issue with this and that small issue is we do not have enough rocket fuel to get up from this plane, uh, from, from, from this uh, place. So we do need to order up a little bit more rocket fuel now we do have this rocket over here that is the rocket that goes around and if we order him up again we get all of this stuff again uh which we probably also just want to save in a chest that's also the reason why these two chests already exist it's basically the contents of that rocket we could maybe also set up a new rocket maybe we do a new, a new rocket that is just gonna be rocket fuel we could easily set it up maybe somewhere 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 over here this could maybe just be the rocket fuel supply rocket. <laughs> we have everything for this in storage, so that's not going to be that much of an issue. Uh, as for the rocket fuel, there we go. We can hook you up like this. And that. And I think there's a connection over here. I hope there's a connection over there. Uh, any more steel pipe going around? There's some steel pipe over there. Let's see if you fill up. Ah, I, I guess I missed. Oh, it's one higher. I see it over there. It's one higher. Yeah, seeing that pipe from the side is a bit, well, not that visible. Uh, where do we want to go? We definitely want to go to... What is this place called again? Uh, not Enigma, not Zutan, not Cthulhu. No, that's Mifulu. Typhon. There we go. We want to go to Typhon to the Typhon landing pad, which we're probably going to move. But we do need some other things in here as well. There we go. Or a second one of these. You over there, you will be, uh, what's it called? Cargo rocket parts. Here we go. Uh, order up one. Nah, order up like 48. 48 is fine. And then we do need to wire you up. Here we go. So you are only enabled if cargo rocket parts over here are less than 100. And you over here, you order up the capsule one of them and you're only activated if the space capsule is less than one there we go with this we can at least get a rocket ready that will send uh, us back home perfect and then i guess we do need some rocket fuel in here as well yeah that's the place for these bots to bring over the stuff there we go thank you very much you over there you order up rocket fuel pom 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 it's on here rocket nope that's not how you press any of those buttons um not actual rockets. We could have, however, bring more rockets in. Very true. Very true. But you just order up rocket fuel like this. And how much rocket fuel do you want to have in here? Oh, it was already connected. It's reconnected. Here we go. Well, let's check. Let's check. So we can go outside. We are not going to get eaten right away. That's fine. If we put down the capsule over here, it does tell us that we need 323 rocket fuel at least. To get back into orbit. And I'm not even quite sure if that will be enough to get back into orbit. We might also have to do something about cargo capacity. Maximum capacity depends on origin and destination. Rocket fuel and cargo rocket sections in the capsule inventory are considered part of the capsule and not the cargo. Okay, so that should be fine. So we need at least 320 or something like that. We are going to lose something of that uh, in transit. So how about rocket fuel? Uh, how about you just bring us, like, 400? <laughs> I'm also a little bit surprised that we're not getting any rocket fuel. What's going on with that? Uh, we're stranded. We could, of course, just commit suicide, but we don't want to do that. We want to keep that um, tier 9 um, productivity module, and we want to bring that home. So, what's wrong with rocket fuel? Now, rocket fuel requires coal. Coal is there. How did you break? Uh, don't tell me you're backed up on... No, that should not be the case. It's iron plate. It is iron plate. We're missing iron plate. That's easy. Now, the thing about iron plate is um, we did have an issue for a while where there was no 
Vulcanite coming in, and I didn't notice that quite early enough. Okay, Iron Plate over here is being made. East trains are moving around, and they're probably filling up other places first. Though it does kind of seem that you are stuck over there. Where is you? There. Yeah, you are definitely stuck. Did we not set you up correctly? Ah, it seems that today is also going to be an admin day. Like, every now and then, you're going to have an admin day. Now, this train over here, it's 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 um, per wagon times 8. That is 32,000. And you only open up if there's less than 8,000 in there, which means this should actually never gotten this full. What happened over here? Well, it doesn't matter. You over there, go back to your provider. Train station is locked. Perfect. Maybe maybe something stupid happened. Maybe a power fluctuation or something like that, which oh, nah, that should never ever happen, actually. Uh, but you should be good to go. Good. Actually, now to think about it. Ah, he's already gone. <laughs> Did he already arrive? Where is he? Oh, these trains are fast. He's not arrived yet. There he is. Actually, if you think about it. Go over here. And over here, I mean over there. And then go to that request, so because then we can immediately start making rocket fuel. Here we go. You got enough iron of you to, to do that. All right. In the meantime, this train over here is being filled up. That will be fine soon. All right, all right, all right. So basically, we have to wait for a bit. But that is fine. In the meantime, um, we can have a look at the puzzle over here. Now... This is part of the endgame puzzle. Please, no spoilers. But we're also not going to be solving it. Um, this thing will be automatically generated for every playthrough. And it will be different for every playthrough. As le at least as, as far as I've heard from, from the comments. So just showing this is not really a spoiler. Everybody knows about these by now. If you don't... Uh, sorry to spoil it for you. <laughs> but you should have seen it like already in the playthrough. Because we've already went into one of these places. Actually, multiple times. And it is probably something to do about constellations. I mean, these all look like constellations. Let's maybe have a quick peek at the interstellar map. Oh, what do we have? We got, we got a bit of a hook over here. We got a bit of a hook over there. And then we got all of these, which we can probably map as a constellation. Uh, but looking at this, we got Headless Man, uh, Failed Communism... Crooked Cop, Overlord, uh, Table That's Falling Apart, Headless Man, Dancing Headless Man, <laughs> Tree, uh, A Win, the number four, and basically the world's most terrible cup. <laughs> Looking at these, I I'm pretty sure we can basically reflect all of these in there. Maybe it's a combination of these, maybe... Ooh. I have no clue yet. <laughs> I have got no clue yet. We also got this part over here, which might also be a part of a clue. We would probably have to compare them to other ones. The only downside I see over here is, is that we can't really... Or can we actually? Can we? No, we, we can't really enter this place via remote. So we have to look at these or make notes of these while we had it. We, we do know of one more of these. Actually, we know of quite a couple of these because they do show up over here in your flags. And we do know, and we've already seen the one over here in Turkmen, where we've been inside. It's sitting over here. But I've got no recollection of what was in there. Like, absolutely none. Um, so we will have to see about that at some point in time. Would be nice if we could maybe just, well, I don't know. Good, 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 good. All right, how is Novice side doing? Nope, oh, that was correct. So, we should be making rocket fuel again. Rocket fuel is being made. Not over there. Not over there. Over here. Yeah, it's working again at good speed. Good. So, we basically only have to wait for one rocket and then it should be fine. I still do like that the rocket fuel over here is just made straight out of coal. <laughs> uh, only downside is we do vent some, some petroleum gas, which I don't really like. But else, this place will be stuck all the time. But doing coal liquefaction over here for rocket fuel is kind of nice because we do get a whole bunch of heavy oil which we can crack into more light oil and rocket fuel is basically only light oil. There we go. There we go. But since it only stacks up to 10, this chest over here will be ready soon. Good. So how do we try to go back home? Well, we still got over here. Here we go. 
uh, <laughs> our little auxiliary ship over here, which we can use to fly back home, which I'm very happy that we brought. Uh, we could maybe also quickly explore a little bit of... There's nothing, is there? In, in orbit over here, there's nothing. Yeah, that looks interesting. Ooh, oh, 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 stone. I thought there was gold, but it's only stone. Yeah, you don't really get big meteorite fields in, in orbit. I'm also not quite sure if there's ever, ever going to be anything down here. But yeah, the only thing we want is this place. Uh, on a side note, if we go back to the interstellar map, you might have noticed that we do have the dark assemblage over there. And you can explore places like this. And maybe we just do that real quick. Here, cancel the signs over here. By doing some deep space zone discovery. Let's, let's queue up another one. It should be fast. We should have all the signs available. Yeah, there it goes. And these over here are special asteroid fields that are like in the middle of nowhere, more or less. Like you get no solar efficiency. There's no sun around here that gives you any kind of power. But this is the place where we find knack white and stuff like that. I'm kind of hoping that we kind of find maybe one of these over here at some point in time. Uh, Zona's generated surface? Really? Really? Ooh, this looks nice. Ah, oh, these, these are some really nice graphics. Um, I didn't see anything over here. I did do a bit of a scan over here, but I never saw a generated surface in here. I mean, this over here is where it starts. Well, you know what? There's only one thing we can do if we do something like that. Uh, the Dark Assembly Office over there. Scan it. There we go. There we go. Good, 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 good. Uh, we should also maybe yeah, make you one of our favorites. There we go. There we go. We should maybe also make every place that has like a mysterious structure on them one of our favorites because we will go, we will have to go to all of them at some point in time uh there we go of course yes there there is the option to cheese this whole thing over here by just deleting the surface and regenerating it we're not doing that we are not doing that that is cheesing like if we basically looked at the surface and we forgot about it and it's now infested with biters we have to deal with those biters it's the only fun and correct thing to do good 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 and that's all of our ships over there. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right. Then we can clean this up a little bit. And then it looks like this. Good. Good, 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 good. All right. Let's go back over here. Let's maybe see if we maybe have found something with the scan over here already. Oh, yeah. That scan is going fast. Love that. But as for a generated structure, I don't really see a generated structure in here. Uh, we do see a good amount of iron ore. Good amount of copper ore, methane eyes, which is also very important. Knack white, lots and lots of knack white. We do want knack white. Mm, but I don't really see a structure or anything like that. Ooh. Ah, oh, this, this is going to be so much fun if we want to get all the way over here to, to work over here. Getting here is, you can, I think, only get here via spaceship. And I'm not even quite sure if a spaceship will even be good enough or fast enough to get over there. Remember, uh, it's basically in the middle of nowhere. We can't fly over there with something like a solar sailor. We would need something that actually generates power um, on the inside. That sounds weird. <laughs> uh, that generates power on the inside. And we will probably need something like uh, a nuclear-powered ship or a fusion-powered ship. Anything like that. But that also requires lots of water and also requires lots of um, steam recycling. It's probably going to um, end up with, like, condenser turbines and stuff like that. And if we do something with condenser turbines, we will probably also need to... Um, well, we, we need a whole bunch of storage capacity. Let's put it like that. Because we need a whole bunch of water, a whole bunch of steam, and everything basically needs to flow around. And we need a cooling tank and stuff like that. Uh, we could also still think... What about that one recipe? The water recipe. Um, not this one, not this one, like turning water ice into water. Oh, there's a lot of water recipes. There we go. There we go. There it is. We can do that in a chemical plant, but the chemical plant cannot be placed on a space platform or a spaceship. 
And a biochemical machine cannot be placed on land. But it doesn't really say that we cannot put it on a spaceship. I mean, the advanced chemical plant over here, it says, cannot be placed on spaceship, platform spaceship. This can only say cannot be placed on land. So, ooh, we found the creepy hollow. Ooh, not the sleepy hollow, the creepy hollow. So if we just have a quick peek over here, and if I just take a chemical plant on me. Where's that thing? Can we place one of these on our spaceship? I mean, it, it, it would solve a bit of the water issue. Singularity lab, we don't need that. Um, where is that thing? Where is that? Okay, let's look for it. My eyes are not there today. There we go, chemical lab. <gasps> we can. So, wait a minute. But doesn't it say the same thing for every space building? Like... Cannot be placed on land, cannot be placed on land, cannot be placed on land. Can we build space buildings inside spaceships and then land them actually on the surface? We, we're going to check that real quick. It should be easy to do over here if we go back to Novus. There's Novus. There we go. I'm not quite sure how much uh, do we even have. We, we should have something in here. Uh, we should have like some kind of random machine I ever brought back. Yeah, there's a space manufacturer in here. Perfect. And there should be, because I probably dropped it at some point in time, some spaceship platform around. If I can find it. There we go. There it is. All right, bots. Uh, bring me this, please. Oh, that was fast. And then... Interesting. So, wait a minute. So, if we would, for example, make blue circuits in this thing. Okay, it still does not take any productivity modules. That is fine. That is fine. Okay, the building itself does not accept productivity modules, but it still accepts speed modules. Uh, some recipes are disabled while underground. Oh. Really? Uh, probably probably some specific space recipes, but the one we want to do, and that's not one in here, but let's get you out of there real quick. I'm pretty sure we got the chemical plant, if I can find it, there we go, in here somewhere. There it is, thank you. We can make water to water ice. That will probably make things way easier for us, because bringing a big tank of water, that's not really that efficient. The big tank of water is just going to be super duper annoying. But if we bring a big block of ice, ice stacks way better. We can put way more ice in the chest than we could put water in the tank. In also in a very small, smaller containment. And then we just need to always make the water or the, the difference that we use up uh, of the water. And with that, we could get a feasible, sizable generator going. That could make us all the fuel that we need. So, it would be still a nuclear reactor, which is fine. Mm. Alright, that, that is just gonna turn my gears in my head for a bit. That'll be fine, that'll be fine, but now I know something for that next time. Alright, Creepy Hollow, what do we have over there? Um, okay, yeah, yeah, they're, 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 these are definitely different. Okay, this one over here, <laughs> lots of uranium. Ooh, but this one over here definitely does not have a generated structure on it. This one does. Is there maybe just a chest hiding in here? Ooh, well, definitely got bigger. Are we missing the obvious? That's a field of stone. <laughs> That's not the thing we're looking for. That's also stone over there. There we go. There we go. And also, I'm not quite sure if this has this thing actually a limit. That's also a good question. Uh, solar tri asteroid field. I guess it is infinite. <laughs> 
which is fine. We'd like things that are infinite, but I don't see a generated surface in here. Un unless I'm, I'm really, 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 really missing something. Well then, uh, that will be a mystery for next time. At some point in time, we're going to have to fly over here. We will definitely fly over here. But I think in the meantime, our rocket production should be done. And maybe we can finally escape from this God-forbidden place. <laughs> good, 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 good. All right, let's have a look at... Um, Let's have a look at Novice real quick. There you go. There you are. Rocket, how are you doing? Rocket is set up. Rocket has 264 rocket fuel in itself. Uh, that is not enough yet. We do need, like, a bit more. Um, so we do need to wait for that a bit more. Is that the rocket fuel train? No, that's a uranium train. A rocket fuel train is coming over. Perfect. We're going to be done soon. Let's do another one of these. Let's see if we can maybe find something else, though. I'm not quite sure if we will be doing that uh, in this episode, because these over here, they do get more and more expensive, I think. This one is 130, and this one is 12, this one is 21. Well, these are different types, but I'm pretty sure they do get more and more expensive over time. Good, 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 good. But then we just need to wait for this rocket to arrive. In the meantime, uh, we do need to make a place for that rocket to land. Oh, did they all leave? Oh, they probably despawned. They probably despawned. Well, Ed, <laughs> that's all that's left of Big Chungus. Oh, I'm so sorry, mate. Uh, you, you, wear, you wear a proper ship. You wear an absolute proper ship. We, we, we blasted every nuclear atom bomb out there. Look at the impact you made over here. Bloody amazing. Uh, it's probably highly radioactive over here, and we're possibly dying from radioactivity poison or um, um, from, from poisoning. But that is fine. That is absolutely fine. Good. So we can wait over here for the rocket fuel. So let's wait over here for the rocket fuel. In the meantime, uh, this one, that one, this one. It's not arrived yet. Really, it's only 264. It, it, it doesn't really look like that much. Oh, yeah, 500 stacks. Yes, that's why I'm I'm being confused about it. But yeah, the amount that we need is only 400 rocket fuel. We can check again now that we, we can't even fly off straight from over here. Out of the remains of the Chungus. Good. So put in the rocket sections. Put in the rocket fuel. We can bring some stuff with us. We're definitely not bringing all those rocks with us. Let's put those back over here. Yeah, let's, let's clean this place up a bit. Let's get a broom <laughs> and clean up these radioactive rocks. Here we go. So we might be able to get some more stuff out of it. Like 20, 20 is like 20 items. Um, we should then definitely also try to save... Oh, we already have that in there. Uh, the truster suit. We definitely want to bring that back with us. Anything else in here that's kind of important? Yeah, maybe the life support canisters. They're probably going to be required. Uh, the med packs can stay over here. I'm bringing the beacons left with me. These are also kind of expensive. Mm, the pylons are really not expensive. The pipes, the loaders, the chests cheap stuff the accumulators the nuclear reactors I'm, I'm not carrying a nuclear reactor back with me i mean at some point in time maybe a pioneer comes over here and goes like oh look at this we found a chest full of nuclear reactors and you go like what the hell <laughs> uh that would be a very weird pioneering experience like let's go see the primitives they got nuclear reactors what <laughs> where did they get them from well so be it all right, you got 400 rockets fuel in you. We want 418 there. What are we missing? Less than that. Uh, let's get inside, then we can see the accurate number. Less than that. All right, I'm going to send you over, mate. Here we go. Go to the Typhoon landing pad. Typhoon, Typhoon, Typhoon. Off you go. Please don't crash land and land on the biters. <laughs> That's the only objective you have. Do not crash land and land on biters because you will be fucked. There we go. There we go. There it comes down. Perfect. Give me this. Put in that. Uh, we can also... Cargo capacity is over. Wait, do we need to... Oh, don't tell me we can't get up there. Uh, that's 31 in there. That's over capacity. And the first stage needs 
Uh oh. <laughs> Insufficient rocket sections. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. Really? So the, the little shit rocket over here is not strong enough to get upstairs. That's what you're telling me. We definitely need all of these. Let's see if we can make it any better. Here. Yeah. Um, drop that in there. Drop everything in there for now. If it's just us... Okay, okay. If it's just us, it's it's lighter. Okay, these, these items do have a weight. Yeah, fill up everything rocket fuel. Doesn't matter. Put it all lift it back. There we go. And then... Yeah, okay, okay, okay. We, we can make it up, but we have to make a choice in what we bring back. So definitely the suit. Definitely the Mark 9 module. Um, and the beacons. These over here are not that valuable. Uh, I don't really need the module inserter, but I, these deconstruction plants... Well, technically, if you think about them... Just put them over here. You... You, you, perfect. Perfect. Good. We can make it out of here. We also detected another zone. Let's have a quick look at that. Here we go. Pebbles. That looks like fun. Yeah, this one over here has all the knackwood. I'm still kind of curious about this. Oh, wait. Is that maybe generated surface? Because if I look at the surface, will it then be a generated surface? Am I just misunderstanding it? I am just misunderstanding it. All right, that's the only thing. Um, yeah, delete the surface over here. Let's also stop doing this. Delete the surface over there. So there's nothing hidden over there. It's just telling us that we've been there. All right, all right, all right. That was kind of stupid. All right, up we go. We want to land right over there. And here we go. Uh, we got the most important part with us. Uh, we should maybe put on the truster suit. Because we're going to space. Uh, if we do land the space, we do want at least some of our air canisters. And we're bringing home the Product 59 module. There we go. Off we go. <laughs> Goodbye, planet. Until never. <laughs> well, at some point we will be back. Yes, this was what I was expecting. Um, and that's also... I do have rocket fuel. <laughs> I almost thought we were stranded. Good, 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 good. Get in there, get in there, get in there. There we go. All right, all right, all right, all right. The accumulators are at least charged. We should be able to fly back without much of a hitch. Um, it's also perfect time to end the episode. So the only thing we're going to be doing is we're going to go back to Novice. Where is that? Novice, Novice, Novice. Not Phantom, not Typhon. Where is he? There we are, sort over there. Novice Orbit. Off we go. <laughs> Good God, that was an adventure. Uh, next time, we're probably going to be way more prepared than that. Also, let's have a quick look. Do they get more expensive? They get slightly more expensive for this, but they're still pretty, pretty cheap. Good, 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 good. All right, that's it for today. If you do like what you see, please do leave a like, a follow, a comment, a subscription. Every one of those actions does help me out in growing this channel. It's something bloody amazing. Uh, you can also find me on twitch.tv slash boltviking, where we do even more Factorio. We do a whole bunch of Pyons over there. We're also doing a whole bunch of Baldur's Gate 3 over there, as well as every now and then some Mega Bellum. And without further ado, I wish you all an amazing evening, and until next time, see you around!